My name is Ben Draper, and I'm the director of the May Comfort Center in Framingham, Massachusetts. We're in our sixth year, and we've gone from 15 members in our first year to about 50. We have six members on staff, and it's going well. We call this place the Art Shack. We hang out here. We have our own Maycomber produced movies that this is a set for. We also have classes and we do art projects. This is the inside of the Art Shack. Today, we're gonna have a Jane Austen book group meeting in here. Uh, when I was growing up at the Sudbury Valley School, there were really two small movements that I was aware of anyway. One was associated with John Holt and his organization Growing Without Schooling. That was generally known as unschooling, sometimes homeschooling. And then there was the Sudbury Valleys, uh, the, the sort of 60s free schools. And the two didn't seem to have a whole lot to do with each other, although the philosophies were very much the same. Uh, the two camps didn't have much to do with each other. Today, the whole movement has really exploded, and the Alliance for Self-Directed Education is doing a great job to legitimize and make recognizable this larger movement uh, of self-directed education. And it brings all of these efforts together and legitimizes it under the term self-directed education. We have a hundred acres of land and some of it, like this place, is wide open where we can play games and sports, like capture the flag. So this is the basketball hoop where the boys and other people come to play basketball sometimes. Back in these woods, there are this witch caves from the Salem Witch Trials. Look it up. In a couple months, we're going to set up an evaporator here where we make maple syrup from the sap we collect around here. No! <laughs> Mrs. Is he, is he getting made up for the... Gianna, make... Oh! Gianna, make it... Make it... Make it... Make it... Make it... are full of big rocks like this one. On these rocks, we build huts, forts, and we have secret club meetings. We also film movies on these rocks, too. The reason that we support the Alliance for Self-Directed Education and feel that it's such an important organization is that it really does a great job to bring together all of these little movements underway. Everything from um, small independent learning centers and self-directed learning communities, uh, homeschool co-ops, parent-run co-ops, uh, to free schools and democratic schools under the banner of self-directed education. And it really gives uh, parents a reference, uh, feel, and it helps them feel like they're part of a larger movement, and it gives them confidence to strike out on this uh, fairly alternative educational path for their kids and start walking around. We can just like jump. <laughs> After we, we've already done this, we yep. come to here. So yep. there are four of us. Yes. We need no four. Right. It's not all ladies like before. <laughs> I'm making a dinosaur. 
Uh, who? My buddy?